Hello and welcome to the second part of the crafting queue system in which we just will finish it up by displaying the user how many items are currently in the given crafting queue for the given item. If I hop over to the inventory tab I can see that I have 6 wood which means that I can craft exactly 3 arrows and if I hop back to the crafting tab and I click the arrow icon a couple of times I can see the number 8, 7 and so on. Once we have 3 arrows crafted that means that we have no resources available anymore. The icon just vanishes and I have exactly 3 arrows in my inventory. And if I do the exact same thing with just clicking the arrow icon three times one two three i can see that i have number two one and then the last one is without a number here awesome and i have three arrows again in my inventory if you have not seen the previous tutorials there's a link in the description box down below and let's stop talking and start coding we got a lot to do today let's start by creating the ui for our text so let's open up the canvas the inventory parent crafting tab and scroll view viewport and here we have our crafting tab parent so let's hop over to the prefabs folder and drag and drop our crafting slot prefab in here and let's create the text so open that up as well right click on it and then go to ui and text let's rename this to the crafting queue text hop over to the scene view and to d and that's quite all right and let's click on the rect transform hold the shift key and then click on the bottom right so that we anchor it at the bottom right and then reset this the position x and position y to zero and zero and put in something like 40 40 width and i guess 30 40 high that's quite all right let's also put in some text something like 10 so that we can match it with something and let's select the robot bold let's also size it up a little bit like that that's quite all right 25 center it here center it here and select a white text for it let's hop over to the game view and this looks quite good to me so i'm just going to leave it like that hop over to the crafting slot prefab and open up the crafting slot script and let's set this up so up here we want to declare a couple of more variables so a public game object and this is going to be the crafting text game object and a private and this is going to be a text and let's just call it the crafting text and then also a private integer current count set it equal to zero let's hop down here to the add item which is basically something our start function which gets called only once per game and in here we want to set up the crafting text so crafting text and this is going to be equal to the crafting text game object dot get component and we want to get the component of text like this awesome and we also want the crafting text game object to be equal to set active and false this is going to be it for the initiation of this game object and let's also create a couple of functions that we are going to need we want a public void and increase count and in this we're just going to add to the current count so current count plus plus and then we also want to check if the game object is active in the hierarchy so game object dot active in hierarchy and if this is true we want the crafting text dot text to be set to the current count to string like this and we also have to set the crafting text game object to active so since we have a increase count we also need a public void decrease count and this is just going to be the same as we did before so current count minus minus and then we want to check so if the current count is equal to zero then we want to remove it so just set the crafting text game object to false set active and false and else we want to check if the game object is active so again game object dot active in hierarchy and we want to basically do the exact same thing as we did here so let's just copy this and paste it down here and we also want a function which will just reset the count so reset count and this is going to be called once we run out of ingredients but still want to craft something where we just set the current count equal to zero so we reset it and then the crafting text game object is going to be set to false and one more important function is on enable so let's make a private void on enable this is a function provided to us by unity in which this gets called once we enable an object and if we enable an object and the current count is going to be greater than zero so this can happen basically if i craft an item so if i for example click 20 times on the arrow and then hop over to the inventory tab and then hop over back to the crafting tab that means that we have it set to inactive so disabled and then we enable it again then we want to basically call this function so check if the current slot on enable is greater than zeros and if that is true we want the crafting text dot text to be set equal to the current count dot to string and then the crafting text game object dot set active and we want to set that to true and if we enable it and there the count is going to be equal to zero then we want to just for safety reasons set the game object active to false these are all the functions that we will need in the crafting slot script so let's hop over to unity and set it up so hop over to the crafting slot prefab that we have dragged in here and the game object just grab the text in here and do not forget to save it so just hop over to the override and apply all and now we can actually delete that 
Awesome, but now we still have to set up the functionality with our queue, which we can do in our crafting recipe script. Right here in the use function, this gets called when we click on a crafting item. We just want to hop over to the crafting slot parent that we have. So crafting slot parent dot and increase count like this. So that's automatically going to be increased. And once we craft an item right here, we want to decrease the count. So again, parent crafting slot dot decrease count. But what happens now if we run out of items to craft, but still have something in the crafting queue? We would now get stuck and to solve that issue we want to hop over to our inventory script and right down here below the function we want to create a new function and let's make this a private void and call this the reset crafting text and we are just going to loop for each and we want to loop for each crafting recipe and let's call this the recipe in the crafting queue and we just want to access the recipe dot parent crafting slot and we cannot access it right now so let's hop over to the recipe and let's remove this function and let's just make this public so it's kind of easier for us when we now hop over to the inventory script we can access the parent crafting slot and then reset counts so now each individual recipe will get reset and we want to call this function right before we clear the queue so if you run out of items, so if the current item in the queue cannot be crafted, you want to loop through all the items that are queued to be crafted and just reset the crown and then clear it and then get out of the crafting function right here. Awesome. But we still will get one error in Unity. If I hop over here, I can just double click on the error in the inventory UI. And in here, we do not have this function anymore and we can just access it like this. So instead of the crafting recipe dot set parent, we just access it like this and it's going to be equal to the slot. Awesome. And now if I hop over to Unity and start the game. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wood and four stone, which means that I can craft a couple of bows and a couple of arrows. So now if I click on those and click on this, I can see that we are crafting it and then it stops right when we run out of resources but now i can still craft a couple of arrows and i can click on as many as i want to and once we run out of resources the text will just get reset and if i hop over to the inventory i have no resources left but i have already crafted items awesome this was it for the two-part inventory system series i hope you enjoyed it if you want me to do anything else with the inventory system series let me know down in the comments down below for now i'm thinking that this is quite all right as an inventory system be sure to join my discord channel if you want to interact with me a little bit more and i will see you in the next one Bye.